Mm. Oh hey, I'm back and from a new location. So guys, welcome back to Wanderlust Tales. I am so freaking excited to tell you that I am actually no longer in Ireland, which is crazy. Like I was living in Ireland for the past year, going to grad school, and my housing lease was up in Ireland, so it was time for me to come back to America. So right now, I am actually living at home in my parents' house, and I'm living in upstate New York. It's about a two-hour drive from New York City, and I'm in the town called Woodstock, so that's where I am coming at you for today. And today is another Travel Tip Tuesday, and I am freaking so excited because... I love Travel Tip Tuesday, and this topic is something that is so near and dear to my heart. So, today's topic is The Power of Now. So, The Power of Now is actually a book that I recently read, and I will pop it up on the screen for you here, and I will also link it down below so you can get yourself a copy, and it is literally an incredible read. Like, I would highly recommend it. And the moral of the entire book is to talk about living in the present and how living in the present can make you really appreciate your life. And so I'm here to talk about that and kind of like further explain the benefits of doing that. So in the book, there are three main parts. So living in the past, living in the present, and living in the future. So what he mentions in the book is that if you live in the past, you're going to have depression. And that is so true. Think about something that happened, maybe like a situation that happened to you, like you got in a fight with someone and you said something that you regret. Now you're in the present, you're living in this moment now. So if you're constantly thinking about what you said and did in that moment, like that's never going to change and you don't have control over the past. So you are ultimately going to feel depressed, depressed about that situation because there's nothing you can do about it now, like it's over. So um, you, you shouldn't live like in the past. You sh he's saying that you should learn from those mistakes and learn how if you were to be in a similar situation in the future, you know, you could deal with that situation differently. Um, and then the second part he talks about is living in the future. So if you're living in the future, he's saying that you're going to be having anxiety, which is so true. Think about it. If you're constantly worried about the next thing and the next thing and the next thing, you're going to have anxiety. Like, if you ever, like, you know, are planning for something big. So let's say you're dating someone and you really want to get, you know, you want to move in together or something, let's say. So if you're constantly pressuring your relationship and trying to like live together when it's too soon or like and you're constantly like, putting that pressure on your relationship like it's not going to work out because you are putting you're living so much in the future that you're not actually like, paying attention to what's going on right now. So the third most important part that he mentioned is talk about living in the now, living in the present moment. And he says that if you do that, you are going to have peace, which if you think about it, that is literally so true. Like, okay, so if you obviously like plan for the future, obviously like learn from the past, but if you live in the present moment and constantly focus on what you are doing, you are going to find complete and total peace. It is so true. Just try it. Okay, so right now I'm sitting here in my home and I feel happy, like I feel happy to be home. Like I'm not so worried about like, oh, I just left Ireland. Like, oh my gosh, I have all these plans that I want to do in the future. Like I am just living in this moment right now here and it feels so liberating. Like it feels so exciting to just, to not have that stress. Like it's crazy. Like we always have, obviously depression's a real thing. Obviously anxiety's a real thing. Like these are real issues that people are facing. But if you just try to focus on living in the present moment, those are going to, you know, like, maybe not be as severe. Like, it will it will help relax you, you know? And, like, obviously meditation is a big part of that as well. Like, meditating and, you know, being in, in the moment is just, it's very good because it allows you to have a lot more control over your mind and your thoughts, which is really very good because, you know, the way I like to think about it, I was meditating the other day, and it's kind of like we're all up here on these clouds, right? And all of our emotions and all of life and other people's emotions are going up and down and up and down and up and down. But if you understand that these emotions are going to go up and they're going to go down, then you really have control over that because you're looking at it from a different point of view. You're like, okay, so these are the emotions that are happening. And, you know, I have control over these emotions. Like, these emotions aren't going to control me. And that's a big key here because it's so important to realize that, like, Yes, in a moment, something might seem like a really big deal, but if you stop 
take a breath and realize that it's all going to be okay, you know, you have a lot more control over the situation. You're a lot happier in the exact moment. Like, instead of worrying about something that's going to happen in five minutes, just be where you are in that moment. And everything's going to happen the way that it's going to happen. There's really no reason for you to get anxiety about it or stress about it because it's going to happen the way it's going to happen in life. We just don't have control over it. And one way I think is really good to look at is think about it as a stream, okay? And if you're fighting against the stream, like, it's going to be so much harder for you to get where you need to go. We all end up in the same place. We all end up in the pond, right? But don't fight it. Just go with the flow. Go with the moment that, you, you know, you're supposed to live in. And, and you just find so much more happiness. And I have to say, like, just if you meditate and if you read this book, I would seriously highly recommend this book. Like, the power of now, it, it just, it's funny because it's like, life is, is definitely hard. Like, there's definitely challenges. But if you just live in the moment, you live in the now, life becomes a lot easier. It becomes a lot freaking easier. So, you know, I just have to say that it, it's literally like, you should try it because it's, it's, I just highly recommend it. Like, just live in the moment because everything else will just fall into place and everything in this world, like you all have a path. You all have a path you're supposed to end up at a certain place and I just feel like it's so much easier to just enjoy the ride, just enjoy this life because we only have one life as far as we know, you know, as far as human beings know. And, and I'm just, you know, I feel so much more grateful and I feel so much more content. Just, I stopped worrying about what happened or what's going to happen. I just kind of evaluated my life for what it is right now in this moment. And I, I just felt so much peace. And I just wanted to share that with all of you and I just want to share this book with you and I want to share this experience with you and this methodology because I just feel like it's so important that, you know, life can just be so much more enjoyable if we just live it in this way. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this Travel Tip Tuesday and I'm so excited to see you guys next time on my adventures and discussions um, around travel and Thank you so much for following along with this Travel Tip Tuesday. It's honestly been something that I've really enjoyed and it's it's um, just part of this big movement that I'm doing with myself, just kind of like becoming, you know, a better person. I just want to be the best person that I can possibly be and I want to share that experience with other people because I feel like together we can all become happy and we can all become enlightened. and. It's just so important to be in this journey with other people. So please feel free to use the comment section below to talk about your journeys and what you're going through and how you're trying to live in the present moment. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to press that subscribe button down there. And I will see you guys next time on our Travel Tip Tuesday. Bye-bye.